Hello YouTube, this is Speed Robo here with episode 5 of Vanguard Basics. Today it's going to be a little bit of a long one because I'm covering G units. That includes the G zone, how to stride, and the new steps that have been added to both the draw phase and the ride phase. I'm going to try to cover everything that I possibly can about G units. So starting off, what are G units? Well, G units are a new card type, new unit type, that Bushiroad added to go along with normal and trigger. G units cannot be added into a normal deck. They have their own side deck that's placed in the G zone. They have usually have 15 plus base power. That means that when they are on your vanguard circle, they cover up your previous vanguard, and that unit's power is added to your G unit. So right now, uh, a Morris would be at 25. They also have triple drive. That means you get three drive checks when you have a G unit as your vanguard. Additionally, they are counted as grade four. So now let's talk about the G zone. At the beginning of the game, you take all your G units, up to eight of them, and place them in your G zone. It's a special new zone that is just above your damage zone. Now there's two parts to the G zone. Firstly, there's the face down G deck. Now it's called a deck, but really it's more like a second hand. You can pick it up, you can look at it, you can change the order of the cards, but your opponent cannot read or see the information of the face down cards in the G zone. It has all the same properties as your hand. But there's a second part, the stack of face up cards in your G zone. These cards your opponent can see, change the order of, etc. The face up cards cannot be used again to stride. You can only stride a card that's face down. I'll get into more of how to stride shortly. So now that we've covered the G zone, let's move on to the uh, two new steps that have been added to the game. Firstly, there's a new step in the draw phase called the G assist step. For example, if you have a grade 2 vanguard and you don't have a grade 3 in your hand, like so, you can go ahead and G assist. This means you first reveal your hand to your opponent to prove that you don't have the grade you need. You then look at the top five cards of your deck, find one card of the grade you need, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck, choose two cards from your hand, permanently remove them from the game. They don't go into the drop zone, they don't go into the bind zone, they are completely gone from the game. Then you choose two of your G units and also remove them from the game. Then you put your hand back as hidden. The units that are removed from the game are public, your opponent can see those. And then you move on to your ride phase and you can ride normally. Now there's a new step in the ride phase as well. This is called the stride step. <clears throat> After the ride step, which you normal ride, you can then take cards totaling three or greater as their grade. So you can take a grade three out, or you can take a two and a one from your hand, put them into your drop zone, then take one of your G units 
and stride it. That is how you stride. Take cards from your hand, whose grade totals three, put them into your drop zone, choose one of your face down G units, stride. And that unit has to be face down. So choose one of your face down, stride. Then, at the end phase of that turn, your G unit goes back to your G zone as face up. So, Let's go over a quick example of a turn. So let's say at the start of the turn, this is your field, your vanguard, your front row, and your back row. And you stand all your units, you go ahead and draw a card, you uh, don't need a G assist because you're already at grade 3. You then go into your ride phase. You choose not to ride. You go into the stride step of the ride phase, choosing a grade 3 from your hand. Discard it. Choose one of your G units. Stride it. Activating her skill to choose two rear guards, return them to the hand. Because when she's placed on Vanguard, you bounce two units. Now you go into your main phase. Call. Call. Now it's the battle phase. So you go ahead and attack with Rika, boosted by Chicola. Then you attack and attack. So... Vanguards, uh, when you stride, your current Vanguard goes into a new zone called the Heart, and the Heart then adds its power to your G unit. So, Velvet Voice Reindeer is the Heart. It gives both the name and the power to the G unit. So the G unit's name is both Legend of the Glass Shoe and Morris and Velvet Voice Reindeer. So 10 plus 15 is 25, boosted by a 5 is 30. So this attack is for 30, and you get to triple drive. First check, nothing. Second check, nothing. Third check, nothing. Now let's say you end your turn. At the end of your turn, you take this G unit, put it into the G zone, face up. And that's all there is to it. Um... Everything I got today was from the Comprehensive Rules, so I'm going to post a link to the Comprehensive Rules in the description. I highly recommend you go and read it, make sure that you fully understand everything there is to know about G-Units. This has been Speed Robo, thank you for watching.